This is a screencast about OI shopping list. Now, I'm going to a party later today, and I'm responsible for bringing the food. You can see that the last list that I used was from a shopping trip a few days ago. I don't need this list anymore, so I'm going to delete it. To delete a list, you go Menu, and then Delete List, and then OK. Now, let's create a list for the party. To create a list, you go Menu, New List. And I'm going to name this list Party. And click OK. Now that I created the list, let's add a few items. For the party, I'm going to bring chips, cookies, soda, paper plates, and vanilla cake. Now I'm going to add these items. To add an item, you go menu, or excuse me, you can go to the bottom here and then type in the items you want to add and click enter or click add. And then it's going to add the items now. Okay, now, after going to the store, I picked up three of the items, these items being the chips, the cookies, and the soda. To mark them, I just simply check the box next to the item. Now, now that I've gotten those items, I don't really need them on my list anymore, so I'm going to clean out my list. To clean the list, you click Menu, and then click Clean Up List. And now you can see the items have been removed. Now I'm also going to add some details about the cake. Now to add details, you simply click on the item. And you can see you can add things such as the price, the quantity, tags, you can even add notes. Now I'm going to add the quantity of one. And I'm going to add the tag vanilla. And I'm also going to add a note saying get white frosting. I'm going to click back to return to it and I'm going to click OK. You can now see the tag. You can also see the note here in this small icon, which normally would be bigger if I made uh, had a shorter name. Now I won't be able to get to the store for these last items so I'm going to send my list to a friend. To send a list you go menu and you go send a list. I'm going to send it via messaging. Now you can see how it shows the items. It can shows vanilla cake and shows the tag and this shows whether it's been selected or not. Now let's say I sent that off and I want to overview a few more features that are in OI uh, shopping list. So I'm going to return I'm going to return to OI shopping list and now OI shopping list has different themes which you may want to use. To change the theme, you go Menu, Theme. Now, by default, there's three themes, which is the default theme, the classic, and the Android. The default theme is this theme, which is a very nice looking theme. But you may like another theme, which you can get more from the OI Open Intense website. Another theme is the Android theme, which is this theme, which looks pretty decent too. Now you can also 
uh, go into the settings and change the sorting method by clicking sort order. Now you can do it by the tags alphabetically, priority, which you can change when you add de details to the tag, oldest first, newest first, most expensive, and there's different criteria you can use. This can be useful with very long lists. And those are some features of OI Shopping List.